Hey guys, Luton here, back for another Battlefield Thought for the day, and uh, it is a Battlefield Thought for the day, but in a kind of roundabout route, it's not the same as most of my Battlefield Thought for the days. And the reason is, is I'm actually talking about Call of Duty and Battlefield here. Uh, now before, just calm down, calm down, calm down, alright, put down the flaming pitchforks, alright, because I want to break a few things down, and I'll tell you also how I got onto thinking about this today. Um, the reason I'm thinking about it is because in the comments around you know, after the post from the Battlefield blog showing the changes that DICE are going to make after the beta, um, I've seen many posts today saying, you know, good job DICE, really amazing, great that you listen to the community, and so on and so on. And then a couple of posts, people said, I can't imagine the Call of Duty developers, etc., listening to their community in the same way. Now, as I say, sit down, alright, calm down, alright, so it's all going to be okay. Um, <laughs> the reason is, okay, I for ages have not played Call of Duty, alright? But I loved Call of Duty years ago, alright? I loved Call of Duty 4, okay, Modern Warfare. I loved, uh, I kind of loved World at War. Uh, that's a story for another time. Um, I loved Modern Warfare 2 until it turned to crap with hacking and stuff. And for a lesser extent, I actually, well, actually, no, for, for a larger extent, I actually really enjoyed COD Black Ops. Now, I can explain in much detail about all of those games and why I really enjoyed them, but now is not the time. Um, the topic today is about the developers, okay, and as I say, this links into the topic of DICE and how they're listening to community feedback. DICE are listening to community feedback, they always have, but they're listening to it more than ever before. And again, there is a whole other topic to be had about sort of how much they should listen, what kind of stuff they should listen to, but again, that's, a, that's another broader topic there. But what I want to touch on today is looking at, as I say, how DICE have listened, you know, they've done such a good job lately at sort of reading the community well, taking the best elements from previous games and moving them on forward and sort of keeping everything in tow, in touch with how it should be, and, and I think it really does please a lot of people to see that. Now how does this tie in with my kind of Call of Duty aspect? Well, this basically goes a long way, in fact almost 90% of the reason why I stopped playing Call of Duty. The t other 10% is the mind-numbing repetitiveness of it, okay? And as I say, it's only 10%, so... The thing is with Call of Duty, there's lots about it that's actually really positive. Um, and you guys know, the reason I sort of felt this was a good time for me to explain this is because I think a lot of the videos I posted quite recently have been very objective. I try to be as ob objective as I can be, um, and I, I think a lot of you guys do understand that um, because I get a lot of comments around that saying it's really nice to see that kind of perspective. And I hope that in this video as well I can kind of touch on that. And I don't want this to be too long a video, so let me get on. Um, with Call of Duty, what really broke the back of it for me was it was COD Black Ops. Now this is actually kind of funny because I didn't really enjoy World at War that much, and Modern Warfare 2 I did enjoy it, but I didn't enjoy it as much as COD 4, okay? And then going into Black Ops, they actually changed up a lot, and Treyarch actually changed a lot of things in a positive way. Uh, I didn't really like World at War, so when they came I was very tentative about Black Ops, and, and then when I actually got to play it, I was actually going like, yeah, wow, I actually really enjoyed it. Now the funny thing was, I actually loved the hell out of Black Ops. I really did. I thought it was a, a really fun game, it was fluid, fast, it had everything that I wanted, and they added loads of new great stuff as well. So I, the funny thing was, I actually really loved it. The game itself I was actually good with, but then this is what was funny, was that the developer killed it for me. And the reason they killed it, what happened was, some of you may remember, especially PlayStation users will remember, that on the COD Black Ops release, there was a litany of issues, um, not, you know, not constricted to, but including, um, you couldn't join in a party, so you'd try and join in a party and con continually lose players from that group, which was agonizingly irritating. You know, you try to join into a game, you drop all your players, you have to back out, remake the group, it would happen again and again and again and again. You would also find that servers would just blank out, stop, you couldn't do it. In essence, all of the server elements were just kind of utterly broken. Like, and I'm not not even in a kind of small way, they were broken. The game was unplayable, all right? Now, you're gonna sort of think, well, you know, Luton, uh, you've often said before that you need to have patience with developers and blah, 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 and you know, all that kind of thing. Absolutely, you always do need to have patience and you need to give people time to fix things. Now, 
here is where the reasoning comes in about why I just literally point blank gave up and was like, that's it. That's it. What happened was, people were obviously complaining to Treach about this issue. Okay, the fact that the game was unplayable. People had paid out their money, they literally couldn't play the game. So you, you'd imagine, as a, a large developer, that they would, you know, come out and, and say something, wouldn't you? They'd say, well, we are totally aware of this issue, we're working on it around the clock to get it fixed for you guys. Nope. Nothing. Nothing whatever. Their, their own website, their forums, were crashing on a, like, 10-minute rolling basis because so many people were complaining the forums couldn't handle the load. And the server and the site was just crashing, crashing, crashing. People were posting complaint, new complaint posts at a rate of like, you know, every minute, every 60 seconds there was a new post. Complain, 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 complain. So they were like bombing the site. And this wasn't like, <clears throat> it wasn't sort of spam bomb or whatever. It was literally people raging, just going, I gotta play the game. And it, it was just agony. Now, even that is not what really did it for me. What did it for me was the fact that this went on for like a month or more. It was weeks and weeks and weeks. All, all games that release, and I have said this before as well, okay, all games that release, in the first week, you should allow some leeway, okay? Because when a game initially releases, sometimes there's server problems, there's little kind of mechanical tweaks. You need to allow that time to just sort of tweak everything, get it all refined. The first week, you need to allow that, okay? And I did allow that with Black Ops, alright? I allowed that time, and that time passed, and it went on, and it went on, and it went on, went on. And then, coupled with that, they still said nothing. They would not reply to people on the forums. They would not interact with people. They would not speak about it. They were just like, yep, working as intended. And at that point, I was like, yeah, do you know? I'm just gonna, just no. Just no. And so anyway, coming back now, let's let's bring it back to today. That was the point at which I gave up and was just flat out like, I cannot handle it. This is insane. What on earth are you doing? And I decided to just completely leave it and I went full on Battlefield at that point. Because I had played kind of both games to that point. Um, and then when that happened, I was just like, that's it. No more. Enough. It was so insane, I couldn't even get my head around it. And it's actually really fantastic to see that DICE as a company continue to become stronger, continue to sort of impress on those values which really make people sort of value them as a company. And as I say, going forward with Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, they have only re-emphasized this whole community aspect of getting people involved, listening to people. They're not the only ones that do it. There's a lot of developers out there that do listen very strongly. But I think what I really wanted to say today and show today is that there is more to things than just the game, all right? There is more to things than just the game. And for me, like, if Call of Duty had developers that listened to the community, that actually got on board, and, and whether or not they have changed their attitude now is irrelevant for me, okay? Because it was that point where they totally broke everything that I had ever sort of thought about, where I was like, you know, everything that I sort of felt a developer should do, they literally, it, it literally was like, we've taken your money and we don't give a crap. I could have used a stronger word there, but <laughs> I decided against it. Um, it. It really was a massive slap in the face. I just felt so angered, you know? And I, I, t I try to be patient and calm about a lot of these things. And as I say, I, I, people kept saying to me, like, oh, this is pointless to play. And I said, no, no, no. I said, hang on, let's just give it a bit more time. You know, maybe they're trying to get their stuff together. They eventually did... Uh, make a response and they did eventually fix the issues but it was like a month or two later and by that time I just I moved on you know I'd, I'd given up I'd had enough it was just like ridiculous I mean what are you supposed to do every single night just play not play blah 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 it was crap so that's why um, I really feel going to battle for four from what we've seen from what we've heard the people that I've spoken to all the experience that we've gained as a community as well the way people interact with one another for sure sometimes it's not the you know <laughs> i it's not the heavenly ideal that people would love but i still think the battlefield community is a good community i like the way that people discuss and think about ideas and i love the way that dice get involved um they really do sort of go out of their way to watch content to respond to people to get involved and you know the developers and the people that are there they also get involved and they really mix in together it's a fantastic philosophy it's a fantastic way for the company to work um 
the other thing, you know, for me as well, the more I have seen of DICE personally, and I really have seen a lot of it this year, more than I perhaps ever could have hoped that I would. I never imagined that I would go and meet developers. I never imagined that I would go and meet, you know, the executive producers, the art director of the game. This was nothing I ever thought would happen. Um, but having met these people, and not just those guys, but a lot of other people, you know, level designers, people that work on the games, IT technicians, you know, when I went to Eurogamer, there was a great guy from DICE there, CJ, who I had long chats with about the game and all sorts of other things. Everyone just loves it, they love the community, they love getting involved. And so that's really what this video was about today. It was just about highlighting there are other things that are very important about titles. It's about community, it's about understanding the market, it's about sort of getting involved, everyone together, everyone's ideas. Now this has been a slightly longer thought for the day today guys, but I hope you have enjoyed it. Drop your thoughts below, drop your experiences below. If you remember all that nightmare with Black Ops, tell me how you sort of got on with that, how you dealt with it, did you stay with the game? I mean the funny thing was I did actually come back to that game and I played you know, plenty of it when it was fixed as well, but as, but ever since that point, I was just like, that's it, no more, no more. Uh, you guys do remember that I did obviously try uh, Black Ops 2, uh, and you remember that I gave up on that, for funnily enough, very similar reasons. So obviously, didn't learn anything. I was willing to give them one more try after I gave a break Modern Warfare 3. There was a, I didn't get that, okay, and then I thought Black Ops 2, I was like, okay, give them one more try. Screwed up Royal again, so... That's it for that's it for now. Nail in the coffin, dead. Cod is dead to me now. So, going on with uh, Battlefield, Battlefield all the way. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time for some more Battlefield Four.